Welcome to two examples on how to simplify an expression with a negative rational exponent. We're asked to simplify each expression over the real numbers. We're first given negative 64 raised to the power of negative one-third. Let's first rewrite this using a positive exponent. To do this, we'll be using the exponent rule as shown here below, where a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. To help remember this rule, we can write a to the power of negative m as a fraction with the denominator of one. Then if we move a to the negative m down to the denominator, notice how the sign of the exponent changes. So looking at the given expression, let's first write it in fraction form with the denominator of one. And now we'll move this down to the denominator and the exponent will change to positive one third. So this is equal to one over negative 64 raised to the power of positive one third. And now for the next step, we'll write this in radical form where a raised to the power of m divided by n equals the nth root of a raised to the power of m, which you can also write as the nth root of a raised to the power of m, where the exponent is outside the radical. So we need to recognize here that the denominator of the rational exponent tells us the index, and the numerator of the rational exponent tells us the exponent. And the exponent can be underneath the radical or outside the radical. So notice for our expression, the denominator of the rational exponent is three, so we're going to have a cube root, and the numerator is one, so the exponent is going to be one. So we can write this as one divided by, again, we'll have a cube root, because the index is three, the radicand is negative 64, and because the exponent is one, we can leave off the exponent. And now to simplify here, we want to see if there are any perfect cube factors of negative 64. And in this case, negative 64 is a perfect cube because we can write negative 64 as negative four times negative four times negative four. Or if we want negative four cubed equals negative 64. Again, this is why negative 64 is a perfect cube and therefore this is going to simplify perfectly. The cube root of negative four times negative four times negative four, or the cube root of negative four cubed, is equal to one factor of negative four. So this simplifies to one divided by negative four, or negative one fourth. Now let's take a look at our second example. Here we have negative 16 raised to the power of negative one half. Again, let's first write this using a positive exponent. So as a fraction, we have a denominator of one. If we move this down to the denominator, the exponent of negative one half will change to positive one half. So we have one divided by, then we have negative 16 to the positive one half. And now let's write this in radical form. So notice here, because the denominator is two, we're going to have a square root. And because the numerator is one, we have an exponent of one, which means in radical form, this would be the square root of negative 16. When the index is two, we can leave off the index because it's a square root, and when the exponent is one, we can leave off the exponent as well. And now to simplify here, we wanna see if negative 16 has any perfect square factors. Well, we should recognize that positive 16 would be a perfect square, but negative 16 is not a perfect square, because negative four times negative four, or negative four squared, is equal to positive 16, and so is positive four times positive four, or positive four squared. So there's no number times itself that's going to give us a negative 16, and therefore this does not simplify over the real numbers. So we can actually stop here and just say the result is not real. And I believe in our homework system, we're supposed to enter DNE if the result is not real. Now this would simplify over what's called complex numbers, where we define i equal to the square root of negative one, and therefore we can write the square root of negative 16 as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative one, and therefore this would simplify to four i. But again, for this example, we're not asked to use the complex numbers, only real numbers, 
and therefore we can stop here and say the result is not real. I hope you found this helpful.